We got Ann Coulter with us, the best-selling New York Times author. And uh, I'll just get your reaction to the uh, firing of the uh, Secretary of Homeland Security. I, I, I'm going to guess that uh, you're not displeased with the, the news. No, I'm not, though I am anticipating, and perhaps I hope I'm wrong, that he will not be putting anyone any better in the position. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but, you know, if he keeps hiring idiots who don't support his agenda, none of, nothing's going to get done. And we're going to keep hearing these idiot panels on CNN and, and MSNBC acting like... Uh, um, Kristen Nielsen was some kind of hardliner, and she's breaking the law, and he was ordering her to break the law. I love how liberals are suddenly so interested in not breaking the law. Um, could we apply that to um, um, our immigration laws or people breaking illegally into the country? I mean, it is not illegal <laughs> to enforce the law. It is precisely I that that Trump campaigned on and his supporters wanted him to do. Please keep the laws on immigration. They are not being enforced. Um, but the, the only guy who can do it is Chris Kobach, Mr. Harvard, Yale, Oxford, elegant person. The idea that he would have any trouble getting through the Senate is complete nonsense. He's not a wild-eyed Yahoo. He's just someone who's smart. Oh, come and on, elegant. Anne. Don't you think Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins are, uh, are, are looking for an excuse to, uh, you know, uh, engage in some virtue signaling yet again by voting against uh, your, your guy? Uh, Collins? No, not at all. Murkowski is a moron. Yes, she'll vote against, you know, anyone. Um, um, she surely did not vote for Trump, for example. So, you know, so what? She's like another John McCain here. Um, trying to persuade stupid people is not my forte. Um, Susan Collins, on the other hand, I always thought she would, and she did. She voted for Brett Kavanaugh. Um, just because Chris Kobach is a patriot um, and loves his country, does not make him extreme or a hater. No, he's an incredibly elegant person. He's well-spoken. He's soft-spoken. Again, he went to Harvard and Yale and Oxford, not as some cheesy Rhodes scholar, but as a Marshall scholar. <laughs> that is just the kind of person... Look, we have to get, I mean, you ask me, can, can he be confirmed? That's what I'm talking yeah. about here, Pally. It has to get through the United States Senate. The United States Senate is made up of mostly millionaires, people who either went to good schools or acts like they did. Um, someone like Susan Collins, and I don't say this disparagingly, I'm just describing the strategy here. Someone like Susan Collins, Jeff Flake, they are not going to treat a Chris Kobach the same way they would treat, um, I don't know, a Holman, the guy, the Holman, whatever his name is, the one who's the head of ice, even a Tom Tancredo or, 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 or a Steve King. And by the way, I like these people. They're good on the issues. Kobach isn't that. He is not a wild-eyed Yahoo. He is elegant in the same way Brett Kavanaugh is an elegant person whom both Jeff Flake and Susan Collins would be happy to invite to a dinner party with them. That's an important issue in order to, to save our country. Is he elegant or is he eloquent? And, or is he both? Well, he's both. He's very well spoken. Um, he early on endorsed Romney um, for the self deportation. He was the one who designed the self deportation, which you may recall um, was the toughest any presidential candidate was on immigration. Um, your candidate, Newt Gingrich, was weeping about. About children Why do you being keep ripped saying from that? the arms of their grandmothers. What do you keep saying um, that? I, I was never for uh, Newt Gingrich. I like this. This is a rumor we can start, though, Anne. I'll, I'll go in on it's, this. Well, who you, were you for, then? You wouldn't tell me. I can tell you who was the best on immigration. <laughs> I I was probably I was probably more for Mitt than anybody else, just because I knew him, and he had promised that if Kerry was elected, he was going to appoint me to the U.S. Senate. So I would have that hey, would have that would have been given me a, that would have given me a real leg up, you know, in the lobbying hey, Steve, game. Steve, can you come in here again because I don't have a daily radio show for three hours. I think we know more than probably <laughs> who Howie Carr was for there. In any event, that was a good sign in two thousand, um, whatever year it was, two thousand twelve. 
because Romney was the toughest on immigration. And again, it was Kobach who designed the self-deportation idea, which, I mean, I don't think he used that word, but yeah, you don't have to round them up. They go home the same way they came in. We didn't round them up to get them here. We don't have to round them up to get them up. It was a good idea. He's the one who designed, he worked, I guess, in the Bush administration. He designed the E-Verify program, approximately the only successful federal government program in, in world history. Um, and again, I mean, look at him. Look at his interviews. He's, he's not like me. He's not like you. He's not like Tancredo. He is, he's a very elegant person. And I thought it at the time. I may have been too nervous and had my fingers crossed too much to, to say, to tell you. But I always thought that Susan Collins is going to vote for Kavanaugh because he's a respectable, presentable Republican. And you can sneer and laugh at that, but you have to get these guys through confirmations. And it's just driving me crazy that somehow, I mean, this has always bothered me. This, I, even the, the media, certainly, and even some conservatives seem to think of conservatism as something bad and evil. And if you want to, if you want to protect our country and protect the working class and the middle class, ooh, you're a bad, bad person. No, you aren't. Chris Kobach is a wonderful, compassionate human being. He happens to be very smart, very elegant, and he loves his country. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a prediction, country, Ann, that a he's not going to get the job. That's my prediction. Well, that's my prediction based on two and a half years of Trump not keeping any promises and thinking he can scam his voters by just blaming everybody else. Uh, well, we're, we're back to this this point again, though, Ann. I mean, he he's a party of one. If he wants one. to get any of this done, well, he isn't if he hires Kobach. That's the whole point. If he hired anyone who agreed with his agenda and had any idea they, how to they get say it done. He's got, he's got, and again, we, I keep coming back to the same argument, the same point. Say St- Stephen Miller is in, the, is in the White House, and Stephen Miller is apparently the one who put the, uh, who put the idea in uh, Trump's head to fire her because he was just tired of uh, her, uh, her, her alibi and all the time for the fact that she couldn't get anything done. I'm hearing different reporting. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go by as take as fact the reasons for her firing. What does it matter? Um, she's gone. She couldn't get the job done. I knew that from the beginning. I knew that a week after Trump was elected, that if he didn't hire Chris Kobach, he would fail. Um, and the fact that he continues to not hire the one person who could get everything he wants done done means he doesn't want to get it done. Wait, you, you you think he you think he thinks there's a plus side to keeping the border uh, wide open and lawless like this for this to go on? Well, um, what I think he thinks, which is incorrect, but he thinks he can fool enough people. He's fooling you, Howie. But if he just goes forward and says, "I want an A for effort," and I'm gonna no, there's no wall, and this is the worst immigration crisis ever, but I'm gonna bluster about it. So I think I should be rewarded for wanting to do something. No, we voted for results. We didn't vote for angry. T- tweets or bluster. Um, it's, it's just preposterous that he thinks he can con enough of, of his voters, especially somebody who won the last election with 90,000 votes spread out over four states. I mean, look at Reagan okay. and Nixon. Their re-elections, they, they, they both, you know, they won their first election. Their re-elections, they, they, they got a, like 150 percent of what they had gotten the first time. They had so transformed the country, done such an excellent job. You want not only all the people who voted for you last time, but normally okay. you get okay. a whole and tell lot me, more. Give me, give me Ann, President Ann Coulter's plan to solve the problem it, knowing knowing that uh, Congress is not going to appropriate any money for you and knowing that uh, the, the federal courts are going to try to uh, put a, a, an end to anything you do. Tell me what you're going to do. Same thing I've been saying since Election Day. He needs to hire the people who can get it done. Who is the person who can do that? Chris Kobach, Chris Kobach, Chris Kobach. Go back and look at my column one week after the election when it looks like he was and then he wasn't going to hire Chris Kobach. Okay, so what are you, what are you going to do? What should he do? What should, what should Chris Kobach do then? What should he do? Give me, give me three steps. The first three things he should do to uh, to solve this. Uh, in- know that he will do the right. No, but thing. you keep telling Go me, you keep telling me, you keep telling me that uh, Trump can do this if he wants to do it. So I'm just telling, I'm just asking you, 
I, well, okay, tell me, look tell up me. what Chris Kobach has to say. He's not hiring anyone who wants to get it done, Howie. There are a lot of things that can be done, but I'm telling you that your question like what? is not a good question. I will answer it, but the answer is because um, Trump apparently wants to tweet and golf. He doesn't have to bother his pretty little head about this. He has to hire smart people who will get it done. Among the things that could be done, immediately you have to overturn the if, Flores If I were in settlement. court, okay, if I were in court, I would say, Your Honor, direct the witness to answer the question, but now you've begun answering the question. Okay, the Flores yeah, decision. Yeah, it's a dumb question. It's a, he posted it on Breitbart yesterday. Look it up. Chris Kobach, you don't need Congress to seal the border. Four steps we could take. Want me to go to Breitbart and read it to you? I haven't even okay. read it, but I can guess what okay. some of Flores, the things are. Okay, the Flores one, decision, you... that's the one, that's the decision which says you have to uh, uh, reunite the so-called family units after 20 days, right? That's No, what... no. The Flores, it was this sneaky thing the ACLU did. Um, they go in and they say, first they bring a lawsuit saying, um, other children, they're children, you can't, put, you can't right. hold children. Okay, we won't hold the children. Um, and then they say, oh, but you can't separate them. You can't separate them. Right. So, so th- 20 as days. a consequence of the two completely contradictory positions that the ACLU has taken in court and, and an idiot judge um, approved, um, anyone coming with a child immediately gets entree into the country. So how do you change something like that? You have a rule. So you issue a rule. You have, I forget what it is, 60 days, 90 days. Um, don't memorize things. You can look up. That's Albert Einstein's rule, and it's my rule, too. Um, So whatever day for notice and comment, the rule gets changed. He could have done that day one of his presidency, if only Chris Kobach had been there. He is also the commander-in-chief. He can put troops on the border. He can put them one foot into Mexico. He sure doesn't mind bombing innocent Syrians. Boy, you can do that without checking with Congress. But the country on our border that is actively harming American citizens, killing American citizens. I know. No, you can't go one foot into Mexico and have the, have, have the troops there? Okay, yeah. there's, there are two ideas right there. I haven't even read Kobach's four ways to you can do this, Mr. President, without Congress. Look it up. All right, Ann. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it as always. What's the title of your latest book? Resistance is futile. How the Trump heading left lost his collective mind, and boy, is that true. They, they're the only people who could get Trump reelected. The Democrats. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job of it right now. His, his numbers are up in the polls. None of these, none of these Democrat talking points, including immigration, seem to be uh, catching fire. To put it mildly, thank you, Ann.